ask a question, Coach Steve, just state your name and affiliation, please. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, bring the microphones around. Thank you both. Question for Coach? Brian Rob, Boston Sports Journal. Uh, Brad, you went with to Marcus Morris to start there. Uh, what were you thinking behind that, and how do you think that group looked together? Um, I thought I thought the the group started the game, um, got good looks, played well together, and then started the second half really well together. Um, you know, I think Marcus's size um, and yet the skill and ability to play in a smaller fashion um, made the most sense. Um, also wanted to keep Gordon coming off and so we could, you know, um, play through some of his actions when those other guys went to the bench, um, you know. So we'll see how, um, we'll see how it looks when we go back and look at it on film, but obviously, um, you know, I thought it was, thought it was good. Mark Murphy, Boston Herald, Brad, you guys have managed Al's knee all year, um, He's talked about how this gives him a little longevity this time of year. Can you talk about his two-way performance and just how fresh he seems to be? Yeah, we, I mean, we've said all year, you can't overstate Al Horford's importance to our team. It's just, um, you know, obviously the numbers back that up, but, like, just his ability to stretch the floor against size and, and post smalls. Um, and then also on the other end, be very versatile defensively. Um, I thought we, we tried to guard Giannis as hard as we could. Um, he still ended up with 22 points and made a bunch of threes there in the second half. But, um, you know, that's a team collective effort. Um, and, you know, Al obviously, you know, was assigned to him quite a bit, but I thought the whole team was cognizant of him. And um, we're going to have to look at it and see what we can do better. But Al is obviously a huge part of our team. And, um, I'm thankful for the long, 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 long periods of time in between timeouts in the fourth quarter. Jose Pavone, WEEI, and CLNS Media. Brad, just an update on Aaron Baines. And Aaron Baines rolled his ankle. He was available to go back in, according to our training staff. Um, didn't put him back in, obviously. We'll see how he feels tomorrow. Um, he, he's rolled it a few times in the last month, so um, you know, we'll see how he feels. It's obviously an important part of our team, too. Brad, Paul Flannery, SB Nation. Um, we talked before the game about Kyrie and the way he's been managing the game. What did you feel? How did you feel about the way he managed the game tonight, getting his shot but also getting everyone involved? No, I mean, that's what he's got to do. Um, I thought he was great, very obviously very efficient shooting the ball um, with the amount of attention on him. I mean, some of those shots in the first quarter were ridiculous as we, as we made our run. Um, and then I thought that when he drew two, he made the next right play. I thought we all did um, a much better job than our last regular season game here of doing that. Um, and we're going to have to continue to do it. I mean, those guys are going to draw a lot of attention on drives and on pick and rolls and those type of things. But I thought Kyrie played well. Brian Rob Boston Sports Journal. Uh, Brad, you guys have talked you know, all year long. You guys have had a couple times of adversity during games. Uh, just to, you know, you guys had the early 15-point lead, give that back. How encouraging was it to see the way you guys came out in the second half to kind of respond to that? Yeah, I thought we had a few moments at the end of the regular season that said we were headed in the right direction. Um, but you never get, get that feeling until you really get into the playoffs and things start going against you. I did think we showed that against Indiana, both at home and on the road. Um, and it was encouraging today because, I mean, this game, in game one that we played Milwaukee this year, they were, we were up 15 in the fourth, and by 10 minutes in the fourth, it was a two-point game. Like, you just, any, any little, you know, let up, and they just take advantage of it. And, and not, not even sometimes a let up. Sometimes you just miss a couple of open shots, and they take advantage of it. Um, so we were fortunate to be up two at halftime, and I thought we came out of the gates well in the second half. And, and uh, and played well from there on out. But this is a hard team um, to play against, and, and that wasn't their best game. And we're going to have to be awfully good on Tuesday, and we know that. Uh, Brad, Steve Bell, Pat Boston Herald. Um, the way you guys collapsed defensively, 
Uh, was that by design or just reaction of guys? Um, you know, obviously, without getting too far into it, uh, you have to pay that guy a lot of attention when he's driving the ball. Um, and you have to get back out the shooters. So how's that for a non-committal answer? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.